All right, so I wanted to do a video on a new project I just finished up. Uh, it's pretty easy and pretty fun uh, project if you want to get into uh, GPS tracking, war driving, which is uh, getting GPS uh, data and network and Bluetooth data uh, for research purposes. Um, but it's a cool little, really cool little GPS, GNSS uh, module. Here's a nice look at it, made in Taiwan. So it has a uh, tiny little uh, battery there as well. And this is the RF shield um, for all the other little stuff. And there's a few ways to uh, communicate with it. You can either use uh, these wires. So you can either use these wires, you can uh, solder in some header pins, or you could also use this uh, handy dandy level shifter. And uh, this is really cool because uh, you could connect your serial, so your TXRX, and then whichever um, power source you want, you can um, connect that PCC to that as well. And then you can plug this in uh, via USB. <clears throat> so I could connect it to my Mac. And then uh, if you have a Windows, they have software as well. So if you go to their site, they have a field test, really nice uh, documentation for all their stuff. Um, so if you get this uh, level converter, like I showed uh, before, and then you connect up your GPS and they show you really easily how to use it. Um, there's this visual GPS view software. Um, so then it brings up that uh, serial data uh, but in a more convenient visual way if um, you want a little bit easier. Uh, but here, we are using a serial connection. So I have a code which I'm going to upload um, to my GitHub. And then if you want to connect uh, still via serial monitor, um, this is just an Arduino uh, IDE but you can um, also get the data there as well. So every six seconds, uh, this just updates uh, the data. Um, if you have an SSD 1306 screen or something similar, really any screen, um, you can also display uh, the data dynamically as well. And when you're uh, receiving data, and your satellite is uh, connected, or your antenna is connected, um, you will see it blinking. And yeah, I really appreciate uh, this antenna because it's uh, built in to the module. Um, I was thinking about upgrading uh, the Cypher box. I have videos on this if you wanna see more of it. But this one uses a uh, small GPS, but it has this IPEX uh, connector antenna on it. Um, so for different use cases, that's not really uh, what I want. So in the future, it would be nice to have the GPS on a new PCB. Um, I usually get them made through PCB way and um, kind of have a little bit more sleek like that. And I just really um, just enjoy the form factor of this and um, super light and small still. And I believe this uh, so far, I need to do some more field tests, uh, but I believe that the signal is really strong. So another use case, um, if you have uh, another module, um, I'll make more videos on this later, but you can take uh, another one of RayX's modules, and this is one of their lower modules, the RYL, and uh, this is for lower communication. Um, so you could, I'm going to um, add a lower module to uh, this configuration here, and then there'll be there'll be another um, ESP32 with its own uh, lower module. So um, basically, you can um, transmit GPS location over LoRa. And this could be good in certain situations, off-grid locations, 
um, emergency uh, locations. Um, so as long as you have someone's LoRa channel, um, or you could broadcast to as many LoRa channels as you need to, um, you could find someone's uh, location in a moment where you need to. So yeah, I'll make some uh, more videos later on uh, more implementations of this and show you the um, final war driver slash GPS tracker. I'm gonna make part two, like a very tiny, um, a very tiny GPS tracker with like a ESP C3 mini and then a uh, war driver um, similar to uh, the cipher box, um, but more so just like a standalone, um, like if you don't want these other features. So thanks for watching and um, check out the links down below to find uh, Rayax's uh, other products.